Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as that beautiful Dominion of Canada. Last time we, with the help of, of course, American Union State, the Pacific States, took out the evil, evil Jack Reed in Chicago. The CSA is dead, long live the Dominion of Canada. But right now we must do a next focus. Last time we did, we need industry, but now I think believe it is time for us to do some other stuff. Return of the King, not yet. Expand the Air Force. The Navy looks like it could be very good. We probably should have focused on that a little bit more. Coastal Force, Land Doctrine, Superior Firepower. Let's go with Overhaul the Navy. The largest remnant of the Royal Navy sits in Halifax Harbor now, slowly aging and still under the command of the British Admiralty in exile. It has remained separate from the Canadian chain of command, but this cannot continue. The Canadian and British navies need to act as one, absolutely. But right now, we have made a little encirclement in Milwaukee, which is awesome. They desperately want to save them, but oh well. So, i got actually quite a few columns to get through uh, that we need to talk about, as we are slowly, slowly not doing okay against the American Union State, just because, well... We gotta kind of reform our lines. That's pretty much why. Uh, of course, once we take Milwaukee, things will go a lot much more smoothly. But we'll see what happens because it's taking a while to kill these guys off. Uh, don't don't move over there. Just help support the attack. So first of all, our divisions are still suboptimal. Yes, I do know that they are quite suboptimal. Uh, let's stop using you as well, just because we can't afford all this naval stuff. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Nice. We're gonna get some more oil, which sucks. Which really, really, really sucks. Yes. PSA. That should help out at least a little bit for the meantime, as we should be building ourselves up. Actually, at this point, we should really be building ourselves up some, uh, another fleet, perhaps. Another fleet, which I think would be very, very good. And maybe some more military factories, and of course some, uh, refiners would be good as well. So yes, my divisions are suboptimal right now, I know that. I don't think we have enough weaponry. Actually, we got enough weaponry to make 40 combat with divisions, so here we go. Uh, actually, how much artillery do we have? We have some. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna make them thick. We're gonna make them huge. We're gonna make them too large. We're going to make them so big that they're going to have a little bit of attrition to deal with, probably. Which obviously isn't good, but you know, whatever. So that was the first comment that I would like to address. And there you go, we're out of artillery now. Yay! Engineers, grab those, I don't care what happens. We need that stuff. Armored cars, uh, you know what, we're making light tanks anyways. Go and use them too. Very nice. Good. That's going to make some of these divisions incredibly thick, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we're out of fuel, which really sucks. Hmm. I wanted to find enemy ships here, but, oh, anti-syndicalism on the Imperial Broadcasting Service. So go ahead and stop doing this for now. Go, and go home and repair it so you stop sucking up all the fuel. So the Imperial Broadcasting Service was founded by Sir John Reith in 25, after the British Revolution when his previous broadcasting organization, the British Broadcasting Corporation, was taken over by the syndicalists. The service proved invaluable in promoting loyalty throughout the British Empire, and also as a tool to marginalize syndicalism within our borders. There have been calls to install Reith as a head of the new Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in order to begin a proper campaign against the more moderate socialists in the country. Others have suggested that using Reith to employ propaganda with a more external focus to prepare our people for the upcoming fight against syndicalism. Them. Let's find that as it is, put them in charge, put him in charge, so long as he focuses our attention on our foes abroad. That's not bad. Hates government. Eh, eh, we could get more stability for now with ourselves, because the liberals, the market liberals are in power. Um, I could maybe use a little bit more political power, actually. I think it should be fine as it is, because we still have a lot of the stuff to do here. Well, maybe not a lot of stuff. More propaganda. I want more political power, so I'm going to go. It's. I think it's fine as it is for now. Cool. We sunk another convoy. That's good. My goal is have a slow retreat here just so that we can get... The, we got to kill these guys off. Come on, guy. Come on, hurry up. Uh, reform the front line. If we can, that'd be good. Because even though they're fighting us, they're still fighting the Pacific States. And the Pacific States are doing pretty darn well up here. This is... Using these tanks are going to be key to eliminating the enemy. So, come right here. Boom, boom. I really don't care about any of this other stuff. I'll be honest, I really don't. Uh, stop attacking, though. For the love of God, please stop attacking. Please stop attacking. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go, just kind of defend for now. Get to where you have to be. Carrier primacy is awesome, awesome, awesome. It is 39. So, let's grab some more construction speed. That'd be great. More refineries. Dockyards. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Go, 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 go. We want to finish the war up and still support the Carlists, which was another comment from yesterday, which I remember. I had to support the Carlists. Good. Uh, they're actually doing okay. They're doing relatively okay, which is great. World War II hasn't started. The second Valkyrie has yet to start, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me export. We gotta get more fuel this way. Get more resources for ourselves. There we go. Look at that fuel going up. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, they've probably been stacking soldiers here, which is not a good thing for us. 
But it's a good thing we got quite a few divisions here. You guys go there, you guys go there, you guys go there, you guys go there, and all of you pretty much go, well, you go right there too. See what you can do. We should be able to win, but then again, we should be able to do a lot of stuff. But Woodworth loses CCF leadership vote. Woodsworth, who has led the Cooperative Commonwealth Federation since its foundation in 32, has lost his leadership over the party in large due part, it said, to the increasingly unpopular opposition to the war against the syndicalists. He's been replaced by the younger James Caldwell. Caldwell, who has promised to reinvigorate the party and restore it to prominence. Let's hope that he enjoys retirement, eh? Guy, do you have anything for us? No, that's okay. Oh, this looks ripe for the taking right here. Take him out here, and then you can circle them and kill them off. That would be beautiful. Alright, tanks. You got enough fuel. You gotta go, 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 go. Ain't no one gonna stop for this. Get in there, get in there. Slowly winning the fight as we're beating them up as well. Good. Help them out, help them out. Encircle those divisions, kill them off. And we encircle them over here in West Virginia. To hell with you, bunch of... I guess Southerners, technically. Very good, very good. Help them out. Put a ton of pressure on these soldiers. Nothing like a bunch of pressure. We're going to help start attack there. Begin assaulting them now. Because they're going to crack very soon. Come on, they got to crack. Crack, 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 crack. And the tanks. Oh, come on. Seriously? How the tanks do not get in there fast enough? They have more than enough fuel. More than enough speed, my friend. So someone recommended I play in Thousand Week Reich or TNO. Uh, play as a Rex Commissary. I do. I will, eventually. I'm not sure when, but I will. I promise. I really want to. Come on. Eh, we're doing okay. So, overhaul the Navy. A heated discussion has occurred within the Canadian government regarding who to formally appoint as a head of the RNC RCM. Until now, the British fleet and exiles operated more or less independently of the Canadian chain of command, but everyone agrees this cannot continue. The British exiles are adamant on putting Sir Roger Backhouse in the fleet. Since it's, they say it is their fleet, uh, many such suggest Canadian Admiral Pellis Percy Nellis is more the man for the job and will do a better job of coordinating the two forces. He should have it. Decrease or increase influence. Um, hmm. I like that a lot. Capital ship armor and naval attack is actually really good. But naval speed, screen attack. Ooh, I, I prefer capital ship stuff. I'll be honest. I really do prefer capital ship stuff, so we'll go with that one. Just because I think that's ultimately just a little bit better for us. Yes, I do want more li liberal support, but mm, we'll see what happens. Uh, state of the British fleet, this will be good. If Canada is to defend herself, or itself, much less reclaim the home islands, it must first develop a first-rate navy. Fortunately, the legacy of the once great royal navy provides a perfect foundation, and restarting from scratch allows us to get the most up-to-date navy possible. Now, at the time of this recording, there's a small little patch update for this mod for Kaiserreich, but I currently don't have it. So, I know the American Union state can eventually join us if we wanted to really have them, but we can't do that for now. War plans, Arsenal Democracy... On the beaches, Fortress America. Um, it's interesting that they're back in business. They can't go by themselves. Can we really not get them into our alliance? Maybe once they win the war, um, they have to elect stuff. So we'll see what happens. If we have to take out the PSA, so be it. I don't want to be at war for too long. We have to be at war for long enough, of course. But I just don't want to be at war for too long because I want to help support other nations. And I have to keep an eye on. Let's see. Oh, no, also, someone recommended I play as. Uh, the Great War, Mexico or Brazil. Which is kind of random, but you know what? Yeah, I will eventually. The Australian Guard in... Oh, God, no. Mm -hmm. Seriously, we cannot win here? Wh why? 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 All I wanted was a single god dang encirclement. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted, man. They're slowly capturing more and more Kentucky. PSA, are you even doing anything? Yeah, they almost took all of Texas. They're really focusing on me, not, not the PSA at all, which is... Kind of trash, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. Patagonia Workers Front is capitulated, that's good. Anything else here? Uh, suppress the exiles, I don't really care. Mm, war support based on the popularity, an act of bulk inscription, we could do that. Begin a Royal Canadian tour? Uh, I mean, we could. Or we could save political power up, because we could probably use it for something else here. Yeah. Go and help them out. 69, nice, but that's not good enough. So, uh, also, be careful of South Africa. Don't let them break away. There's a potential that they could eventually break away, and that obviously would not be very good for us. So, we gotta be careful about them. Seriously, they're just focusing on us completely. Like, nothing, like, they don't even care about the PSA. All they care about is beating us up, which I don't necessarily like. And also, I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who is sleeping, but actually just scratching himself right now. Okay, come on, tanks. I love you, tanks. I really do, but come on. Okay, great. Let's get some regimental combat teams. Very nice. 
Or guns. Guns are great. Artillery, not so much. Alright. Sage one click. As done their stuff. 36 combat width. More marines? Not yet. God dang it. Up oh, and Binky jumped on my chair. Okay. Metal Africana ship division. Cool. Convert them to infantry two, I think. We're gonna need a lot of manpower. Forty thousand available. That's fine. Yeah. Because these guys are now the forty combat with, which make them even tougher, tougher, tougher. Oh God, come on! Why can't I just win here? Thanks. Please, for the love of God, I know it's over river. I know it is. I know it sucks. But you have to defeat. It's a single goddamn militia division. Vargas proclaims a new state. Hmm, I don't know, but I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Uh, another one is take the Montreal path or something like that, because we kind of want to go down uh, this path. We'll see what happens. Montreal Conference, we'll see what happens. I, there's no guarantee what I'm going to choose. Even if I say what I'm going to choose now. Oh, there goes Brazil. There's no guarantee that I'll choose it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Constitutionalist, revolt in Brazil. Oh, don't say so. Centralization is never easy. Okay, you have to get in there what the hell is going on? Okay, something's going on. How did the light tanks not get in there first? What? Are you kidding me? No. No. Light tanks got in there first before we won the battle, and then they threw in more soldiers before we got there. What the heck is going on, man? I don't understand anymore. Let's see. Naval doctrine, research, speed, spotting, speed. Naval experience gained every day is pretty darn good. But naval dockyards, oh, we gotta do that. Halifax Harbor is one of the best ports in the entire world, and it serves as our access point to the Atlantic and Europe. It is stretched thin by needing to house the Royal Navy and XL for the last decade, and the time has come to expand it and prepare for even more ships to be serviced here. Kill these divisions off. Let's help the entire front line out. Uh, are we attacking? Well, if you want to attack, you should probably get some support first. Oh, yes, please. Yes, some more divisions. Good. Good. Now, stop making that. Oh, actually, you know what? This is actually still a good division to have. Yeah, that's actually a very good division. Keep making those divisions. Did we kill them off? Can we kill these guys off? So we can reform the front line as well? Push them back over the river. Actually, we attack right there. That would be great as well. But they're currently busy. Come on, come on, come on. It shouldn't take that long to kill them off. I don't know. Some of these divisions are not great, but they are what they are. More templates. Better carriers. Uh, oh, God. We already got Raider 1, that's not bad. And we already have one thing of deck armor, so that's not bad either. Anti-air-wise, we can improve it. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, I'll gladly use these. Well, somewhat gladly. Nice. Better planes? Oh, sea carrier fighters, yes. Do we not... We're not making... Oh my god, we're not making any? Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright then. Cool. Form the front line. They take a little bit more territory, so be it. Yeah, they really don't care about us. They, 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 uh, I can't speak right now. Whee! But, uh, they really, really focus much more on us than the PSA, it looks like. Because the PSA is going to pound town with the American Union State. We haven't lost that many guys. They've lost, I mean, they, we've killed off over 200,000 of them. But they've lost over 800,000 to the enemy there. So, carry task forces, that'd be great. Um, we don't have that many subs, That's which is fine, but, hmm. If I told you all to do this, could you do that? Completely blockade them. I'll do the Anaconda plan. Or the, something like that. Because they, they've already taken all of Texas. Holy crap. That is insane. They're even pushing into Louisiana now. Holy crap. Push in there if you can. If we could get those guys off, that'd be awesome. But we probably can't. Uh, help out, help out. Tanks go up, go. Even though these tank divisions actually themselves are not very good. Uh, but they seem to be doing okay. Seem to be doing okay. Crushing them. There we go. That's what I like to see. Canadian muscle. Achieving victory. That's always a great thing. Oh, kill them off. Help them out. Help them out. Oh, the annual IDEC review. So the annual time has come to review our participation in the IEDC and make our annual contribution to the... Towards the organization. Eh, we don't have that much, so go 50 political power. That's not as much as a bonus as I'd like. The second Melbourne Uprising. Oh my gosh. Come on, Australasia. Uh, you know what? At this point, I, we already got 30% last time. We're doing pretty well. I said this time we'd go with economic advisors. So let's go in and do that. It's not that many more factories, but we do get more resources, which is sort of nice. Might help out a little bit. So, could use more tungsten too. Can we prospect for anything here? Like, why can't we prospect? We need more excavation stuff. That's good to remember. Uh, let's see here. Well, don't invest in South Africa too much. That was recommended. Which we already did, so I'm going to invest in Canada again. 
I'm gonna go with an armed military factory because we need to really just boost ourselves up right now. Holy goodness. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good, good, good. There was no deal with the devil in this timeline, which is good with us. So here, you could probably cut off Lexington. Let's come up down here, fight through some forests, and go that way. Do something like that. That'd be good. The revolt in Brazil fails. Balkanized U.S., that's what someone recommended once we win the war. I don't know, man. We might. We're going to make sure New England gets nice and thick. I don't know how much I actually trust the Pacific states, since they're doing really well. They're looking kind of thick. We could probably still take them out, though, but still. Let's deal with the Admiralty. So the British exile admirals have a great deal to teach the Canadian Navy. We must take advantage of their presence and try to heal the rivalry which has grown between the two servicemen. Or service branches, really. That actually would be a very smart idea. You guys go over here, take an infantry division with you. Ah, take both. There you go. Mexico declare war on the Central American Confederation. Okay, then Mexico. Well, good luck. Don't, don't, don't be too evil. Don't be too evil, man. Uh, get some more cruisers. Unless we can upgrade the cruisers. Hmm. Yeah, we can probably upgrade them. Get some of that. That'd be pretty good. Level three rapid fire guns. I think so. I don't think we improved. Oh, we did improve these. Nice. How much? Oh, we got plenty of naval XP. Well, at least we should. That's not bad. That's not bad. Level 2. That's disappointing. Level 2 at least. There we go. So go ahead and trash that. Come here. Get rid of that. And then uh, make another one. Pretty good. Even better light cruisers. Love them. Nice. Keep thinking of the convoys. That's good. How are we doing down here? We're doing pretty well. Pretty well. we got to attack here or here, Louisville. Once the divisions get rearranged, then we can probably cut off the northern Kentucky from everyone else. And that'll be a great thing. Come on. Come on, tanks. Go, 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 go. Actually, I'm going to convert you to the better tank armor divisions. These are actually better. We actually need more light tanks, but whatever. Help them out, help them out. Put tons of pressure on that uh, militia division. Encircled Frankfurt. King Edward greets American refugees. With American refugees flooding north by the thousands, Canada has seen great difficulty in dealing with them all. King Edward, however, has recently made it his personal mission to greet them and make them feel welcome, at least for the time being. After several visits and to camps in Ontario and Quebec, the king has held an elaborate garden party in Montreal to meet with more prominent Americans, the wealthy elites, and celebrities who were able to come north immediately upon the breakout of the Civil War. There are some accusing the king of using this as yet another excuse to expand his social contacts, but it cannot be denied that most of the Americans were delighted by their treatment and treated the king with all the respect and ceremony anyone could desire. Good for him. Still low, though. Still very low. And that is fine. Wow, look at that manpower. Hmm, I don't know, man. Maybe we should uh, raise conscription, but that's just me. That's just my thought about that stuff. Don't do that. Don't let it move up. Just move up that way. Disperse industry. Great. Get up some advanced machine tools. That would be awesome. Uh, I just realized how low that level is. So, we gotta get more political powers. So we can go to... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not get more political power. This, this war has been very, very costly. Uh, New England, do you have any more manpower we could have? Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cuba. Uh, do I have any other puppets under us? Puerto Rico and the West Indies. I don't know how much manpower you have, but I'll take the 55,000. I'll gladly take that. And you guys, do you have any manpower for us? No. Oh, big disappointment, guys. You're a big disappointment. Great job. Kentucky is almost fully ours. Uh, ooh, if we cut out St. Louis, that would be pretty darn deadly. And then we could gear up for another, a full attack soon enough. We might need a little bit more fuel. PSA. Oh, look at that. The French Empire tried to invade Florida. And it's going okay, actually. Trade agreement with Norway. Norway has recently approached us regarding a trade agreement. They are one of the most one of the countries in Europe with the most geographically close to us. And closing down trade barriers with them would mean better relations and economic growth for both of us and the Norwegians. This could also be beneficial in that we could be gaining an economic foothold in Northern Europe, which we could use as a stepping stone for greater ambitions. Decline? Of course. Of course we will. Full conscription. Oh boy. Yeah, that would not be very good with the uh, Canadians, the French Canadians. But you know what? We're probably going to deal with that. So let's finish this up first, and then we'll deal with that. Okay, the French invaded uh, that part of uh, South Carolina. Okay. All right, so we can't afford all these ships. So you, you did a great job. Go home. Let's go home. Where to fuel? God dang it. We might be able to launch a general attack. It's pretty. It'd be probably pretty costly, but at this point in the war, we gotta finish this stuff up now because we gotta help with the Carlos too. Let's go over here and get some more extraction. Extraction three is great. 
go ahead, see what we can do. We're doing a pretty good job so far, I'd say. Pretty good. Look at that. Oh, man, they're, they're doing last stand. Look how weak that cavalry division became. Holy crap. It's always interesting seeing the uh, uh, AI do last stand. How weak they can actually become. Download the PSA in there. Iceland expands their fishing zone. Iceland has recently claimed large swaths of the North, Amer North Atlantic as a rifle fishing ground. This is bound to draw the ire of the syndicalists in Britain, but perhaps we could use this occasion to gain support in Iceland to eventually use as a staging ground for the reclamation of the home islands. How about we offer you a deal? Ah, oh, I love encircled divisions. Beautiful. Even Germany's divisions are encircled. Beautiful. New mission plants. Hold on. Has completed focus new munition plants. Oh, we may have to do that too. Limit experts. We could go to close economy, but we gotta save up our political power. The fall of Nolans. God dang, the PSA has been extremely aggressive in this timeline. Holy cow. Because even though we don't all own all of full Kentucky, COD trade deal formed with Iceland. Our merchants have successfully secured a deal with Iceland. This deal will help them get out of their economic slump to gain and gain as a valuable ally in the North Atlantic. Stability, more monthly population, even though slightly consumer more consumer goods slightly goes up, but that's okay. Deal with the Admiralty? Very good. Uh, what's next? I might have to do that. If they're in flames, so be it. Ooh, authoritarian democracy. Mm, whatever path I choose, I'll be honest, whatever path I choose, I'm gonna piss off people anyway, so I, I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna have to. I don't like this. Special status? <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do that maybe next time, if possible. Maybe not. I don't... We need more manpower, though. I'm not sure how, how else to get more manpower. Uh, is there anything here in the military path that gives us even just a smidgen more manpower? There's 75,000. That's not bad. Uh, we take the home aisles, marine technology. Intel network strength gain, which we actually need to talk about. Uh, I don't know if the, Canada has a special name for their Intel network, but that'd be kind of cool. Munitions industry, that's kind of good. Uh, anything over here? No. Davy shipping building deals? Uh, that's not bad. More dockyards to do that. So, our naval base on the far side of Vancouver Island gives us a gateway to the Pacific. We cannot become so entrenched in our belief that the only war, only war that will ever come to Canada will be from the east. We must prepare to defend the western coast as well. <sighs> Gotta love coffee. Oh, I guess I'll so, if you can. Thank you. Support the PSA. No, we good. We good. Let's go ahead and grab some better guns now. AC model uh, 1. Or 1. Maybe not Einz, since this is not Germany, but one. Atlanta is a capital, we'll see about that. The tanks have done a pretty good job, that's why I like using tanks, but we're going to focus more on special forces like Marines and um, things like that throughout this campaign. But we're out of man... Oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. Okay, I did it. Now the French Canadians, ooh, even Ukraine's up down here. Okay. Yeah, I know that the French are gonna just rile themselves up and be like, you can't do that. And I'm like, dude, like, if we lose, we can't get rid of these British people. Like, think of it like that. If we lose, then the Brits ain't going home. And you know you don't want the Brits here. Guy, you got anything for us? Come on, I want to finish that battle first. Deep into American United States territory. Okay, so man, they, they really are not giving up until every single one of their soldiers dies. Like, that's insane. 43,000 isn't bad. They've lost almost 2 million. We've killed off almost over half a million ourselves. That is pretty darn good for us. Oh, we cut these guys off too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, we could help out those guys as well. Man, the PSA, Jesus Christ. What the heck happened to the PSA? Why are they so tough? Guy, you're level 6. I mean, I get it that you got probably a lot of stuff, but Jesus Christ. I don't remember pushing against the longest, but that's okay with me. Um, okay, yeah, why not? Can we just go for Atlanta, maybe, please? No. Oh, God, come on. West Indies Monetary Compensation. All right, then. 
Royal Dress of the Entente, based on the popularity. Suppress the exiles, begin Royal Canadian. Eh. Why not? So, speaking to a large crowd in the capital, King Edward VIII com commended the Canadian contribution to the Entente and kicked off a three month tour of the ki country. King Edward is expected to meet with officials and dignitaries throughout the Dominion of Canada, at least with one parade plan to be held in honor of the Northern in Northern Ontario. These speakers have been trumpeting the King's itinerary with large crowds expected at each major stop, and Canadian military leaders are reportedly also eager to continue to consult with the King's attaches regarding Entente coordination. Cool, we're well, gonna see what happens. Hopefully, he doesn't make a buffoon out of himself. But we'll see what happens. Great. Oh, we ran so many divisions. The March on Ottawa. Complaints over the pay and condition of Eco Canada's economic relief camps have continued. Now the camp workers have organized a march on Ottawa, with many of them reaching the capital by jumping on, the tr on top of trains. A large group of someone demanded to speak to the Minister of Labor and the Prime Minister presenting a list of demands. This public sympathy for the workers has been very high, with many newspapers publishing photos of the deplorable camp conditions they work in. Uh, shut down the camps. No. Oh, well, improved conditions. Minus 10%. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Rally the country. Ooh, 20%. 20%. That's still... 10% more is still not bad. Cool. So that has not fired yet. So let's go ahead and Davy Shipping build deals. So, Canada's naval production capacity is barely adequate to maintain the former Royal Fleet, much less expand it back to the previous glory. A national, national program of intensive shipping expansion will be necessary to achieve national, naval supremacy once again and ensure our efforts do not go to waste. Man, I cannot speak right now. I just, why is this war not over yet? Hold on. Why is the war not over? Okay. As soon as I ask... The collapse of the Union. There we go. That's good. I'm like, Jesus Christ. We took out all of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Alabama, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina. How many more states are we going to need? Now, the PSA, I'll be fair to you. I'll be fa very fair to the PSA. They can have all of this. You can even have all of Texas, too. Um, I guess we'll take that technically, and we'll maybe try to give stuff to them. There we go. That's a little better. I think we'll just take the rest of it. I think that makes a lot of sense there. There we go. Well, this is definitely divided America. Cancel loan lease. Rally, the country's gone. Oh, we're going to lose population. Don't tell me we're going to lose population. That's not good. All right, so you guys, you gotta have to train, if possible. I'm gonna tell everyone here, go home, repair. Actually, does he have an upgrade? Uh, enemy fleet size, less visibility. Yeah, let's get some more of that. Lone wolf. That's fine. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode there because I must go at the current timing. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we prepare to invade the British Isles, probably. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.